not only Lionel Messi, you've seen Thierry Henry, we're going to see Julio Cesar, we're going to see Javier Mascherano, and also, guys, we're going to see soccer's well, equivalent, alumni game. soccer's equivalent of Dancing with the Stars. Northwestern players have been invited to this game. When Messi said his friends, it wasn't just all the sexy big-time players. It was also some other guys who said, "I'm not doing anything on a Saturday night." Nine different players from Northwestern University, either that have graduated or are in the process of graduating or coming into the program, are going to be involved in the game tonight. What a night for them! What a Saturday night to say, "Hey, you want to come out and run around with Remember Messi?" Remember the Seinfeld and episode? Yeah. Remember the New York Yankees? fantasy camp that's what the northwestern alumni are getting right now what an opportunity for them though taylor uh, and, and a lot of them have finished their playing careers uh, two well, a lot or three of years them have ago. and there's also going to be an incoming freshman and, and there's going to be a special night for all these guys thierry Henry, messi some special right here in the windy city we're at soldier field tonight for messi and friends taking on the rest of the world and there is Lionel messi meeting at diego lugano in the center of the field Monica Gonzalez is the uh, fourth member of our broadcast crew. Monica, how are you doing? <laughs> doing great, Adrian. Thank you very much. Well, about these Northwestern players, there are 10 now. One of them is an incoming freshman, Brandon Medina. He actually grew up a mile from Soldier Field. He's been a part of the Fire Academy. And his father's Argentinian. He grew up loving River Plate and Santiago Solari, who he's going to be sharing the field with today. There were also four former players that were just called in this morning. I had a chance to talk to one of them, Oliver Coupe. He said he just got back in town from celebrating Fourth of July weekend, and I asked him what he was planning on doing today. He said he was going to sit on the couch, drink some beers, and watch this game. And now he's in it. Guys, back to you. It is fantasy stuff, isn't it? Thanks very much, Monica. Thank the uh, Northwestern Wildcats providing now a total of 10 players, as you heard Monica Gonzalez tell us, to the respective sides. French international, 80 caps, he won for Le Bleu, on to Alex Song. Goes for the little chip, it was delicate, and well played Tommy Tombridge in goal, another one of the Northwestern contingents. Just graduated, in fact, Tommy Tombridge. Yep. Held his feet, held his ground. We saw earlier with Maluda, he kind of lost his footing a little bit. It was well done. Song. Diego Perez on Tombridge. Big time. Yeah. Big time. That's the thing about Tombridge, though. He was the backup goalkeeper during his time at Northwestern. Maluda is the latest to provide Tombridge with a piece of work. He, by the way, has just signed a 10 year commitment to become an Air Force pilot. He starts at the end of this year, Tommy Tombridge. And there's a man who never got near a World Cup, David Roth. On the overlap and uh, a chance to break through here. Well done from Roth. Mm. Oh, is that a penalty? Yes. The referee has pointed to the spot. How do you call penalty in a charity game? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a blatant penalty, Taylor. 100%. And you know one thing, that the competitiveness of yeah, this game is going to come from Northwestern, 100%. Yeah. Tuberville comes off his line. David Roth is sliding in. <laughs> Oscarano's not going to let Eliason to score this goal whatsoever. Uh, Eliason. Oh, how about that? Matt Eliason. The Northwestern grads. What a memento to take home. Spectacular. <laughs> Their all-time leading scorer. I don't know if he ever scored a goal like that. Who would have thought that the highlight of the first half would come from the Northwestern kid? This, Watch his touch. Look at this. This is That is awesome. awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> well done. <laughs> The fans came for a show, and no one thought it'd come from a Northwestern alumni, the all-time leading goal scorer in Northwestern history. What a finish. Local lad from Lombard, Illinois. <laughs> I think Sports Center is going to have fun with that one. Matt Eliason, take a bow. Yep. Eliason and friends. <laughs> That's next summer's tour. Yep. See. On the score sheet, Osvaldo with a couple. But the goal of the half, surely, from that man, Matt Eliasson. 
the Northwestern grad for the goals of the ages here. Lovely view, isn't it, of the Windy City? A perfect summer evening here. ESPN Summer Soccer Series, Messi and friends edging the rest of the world by five goals to four. After 45 minutes, unusual half-time scoreline, isn't it? This, though, was the pick of the nine goals from a man, perhaps, that you wouldn't have uh, put your money on scoring it. Matt Eliasson, one of the Northwestern graduates playing here tonight. And Eliasson, the provider of that goal, standing by with Monica Gonzalez. All right, Matt, tell me about that goal. Um, well, it was just a whirlwind. Uh, when the ball came to me, I couldn't believe that uh, it was actually coming that way. Popped it up and then thought I might as well just go for it. Uh, I couldn't believe I got that opportunity. Did any of your teammates say anything to you? Yeah, Henri came up to me, pretty surreal, said great goal. Maluda came up. Uh, it's just an honor to play with these guys. Now, you graduated in 2012. What have you been doing the last two years? Uh, got to go to the Combine, tried out with a few teams. Unfortunately, nothing worked out and uh, currently an analyst for GE Capital. All right, thank you, Matt. Thanks ever so much, Monica. He's going to be at the bar tonight saying, you know what, can I get two Budweiser's, please? And, oh, yeah, by the way, Thierry Henry played the ball to me, and I did a bicycle kick. <laughs> what a moment for him. A man from Lombard, Illinois. Can't wait till he shows up at work on Monday. <laughs> Not sure if anyone from GE Capital has ever done anything like that before. <laughs> Matt, was that you on Sports Center doing a bicycle kick? No, sir. No, it wasn't, boss. <laughs> yes, it was. And the plug. <laughs> Eliason's definitely coming. I want to meet him after the game just so I can pull him in next year. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's uh, David Roth. I'm sure he's going to get invitation too. Alexi with a name like that. Who is David Roth, by the way? David Lee. Get it over with so we don't have to do this <laughs> afterwards. David Lee Roth, one of the greatest front men in rock and roll history. For Van Halen. I know you've heard that. I know you've I know heard Van the song Helen. Jump. I know yeah, you've heard the song <laughs> Jump, Taylor. I know Van Halen, so I'll give you that much. Roth, who was uh, voted one of the top 50 athletes all time from Northwestern. Can you name another, though? Luke Donald. There's my contribution to. Northwestern sporting history as Lavetsi is on his way through. Oh, he just had a little toe poke home, and uh, Julio Cesar able to keep him at bay. Yep, David Roth grew up in St. Louis, great player, very good at Northwestern, went to New York. Tried out, didn't work out for yeah. him, though. But you bring up the alums, you know, there's a couple of ESPN folk there. Yeah. Mike Greenberg. Oh, yeah. From Mike and Mike. Was he makes sure during North college Western. football season he gets it in Mike and Mike all the time. Yeah. Brent Musburger. Brent Musburger from Northwestern. Stephen Colbert, one of Alexi's friends. He could play on your team, Alexi. <sighs> yeah, I could get him. He's from Northwestern. I think Mike Wilbon might maybe as well, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. And just to uh, tie any bow on that Charlton Heston as well a Northwestern grad is that your experience being a GM being in those rooms with those discussions is that the right fit well at halftime you told me I don't know what I'm talking about so I don't know <laughs> <laughs> uh, look the designated player situation oh go on Alexi there he is go on oh, look. who else could it be Adrian I mean who else is it, it was him it was definitely him it's the star of the show that man right there. It was Via Farah teeing it up for him, wasn't it? Matt Eliason. <laughs> so Matt Eliason walks into his office with his boss and he says, well, yep. the first quarter, you know, you were 15% up with GE Electric and you scored two goals against Messi and friends. <laughs> what a finish. How about that ball? Good striker getting to that first post. <laughs> Beating his old college goalkeeper in the process for the second time, Tommy Tombridge. Won't be thanking him afterwards. The Diego Forlan of two two years ago. <laughs> You're not going to be able to finish this. I'm going to ask the question for the next going. 35 minutes. Let's, let's, just, let's just put it. No, it is it is a good pet question because that's inevitably what happens. People <laughs> say, "Well, hey, this this could be something, or maybe we missed it. Maybe we didn't get him on a good day during the tryouts, or or, or whatever." And don't get me wrong. I love him. He's my new favorite player. 
Oh, of course. How about the GE Capital Monday night team? Will he, will he make that after, after this display? He better be captain. That <laughs> <laughs> still eludes him. That's how Argentina win a World Cup. Where is he going? Well, he's on his way out, isn't he? Not hanging around to don't see. Don't worry, don't worry. Elias is still in. That's true. Oh, well, <laughs> another feather in the cap here for a former Northwestern player. Jeff Fallon is the player who's come on to replace Lionel Messi. Jeff Fallon got engaged last night. Yes. It's a pretty good two days for him, isn't it? The problem is, 20 years from now, his wife's going to say, well, remember that engagement? He's going to go, I know, I met Messi. Messi <laughs> I mean, was awesome. Him. I came on for him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. His fiance is probably listening. He'll say the engagement was first best thing in his life. <laughs> Apologies accepted, I hope, by Mrs. Fallon to be. Here's Ortega. That is uh, Jeff Fallon you're looking at. Northwestern University, the Wildcats providing uh, a number of players to the proceedings tonight. Uh, Eliasson has been the headline act. Also the likes of Oliver Coupe and uh, Brad Napper, David Roth. Cody Stanley, Mark Blades, Gerardo Alvarez. Only Tombridge, the goalkeeper, too. Another of the superstars departing the scene, Thierry Henry. And Henry will make his way out as well. Former teammates, of course, of Messi's with Barcelona. We'll dink over the top towards set number five. Keep your eyes on him, Brandon Medina. He hasn't even begun his college career yet. He wears number five for the rest of the world team. There he is, just jogging back. He's graduate of uh, St. Ignatius Prep here. Grew up a mile from Soldier Field. Number one recruit for Northwestern coming in. Yep. The Illinois Boys Soccer Player of the Year. There he is, Brandon Medina. I bet you he can't wait to play like Indiana University in a Big Ten game. And you know, the coach comes to him and says, hey, listen, you need to, you know, you need to track back their left midfielder. He's very excited. He's going, coach, I got it. I, I had Imar and Messi for 20 minutes. Now David Roth. Well, he got on the end of that. Had the chance to produce a highlight reel moment for himself. Doesn't really matter what, you know, Joe Smith thinks at home sitting in his basement. Doesn't matter. Your name is on it. Alexi's 100%. Correct on this, his name is on it. But the action is just left behind. There is Florian Maluda. And there is the final whistle. Well, we see Maluda back in the United States. Well, he's available. But it's Matt Eliasson who perhaps will remember the night more than anyone here. His rest of the world team going down to a 9 6 defeat. But he got the goal of the night for sure. That first half of bicycle kick. Announced the fan 11, the players, fans selected as their MLS All-Stars. What a night for some of those Northwestern players, for Zico and for Fabio Capello. It has ended 9-6 to Messi and friends against the rest of the world in this benefit for the Messi Foundation. And children around the world be the beneficiaries of that. Hope you enjoyed our coverage. Coming up next, Sports Nation 101 Red, White and Booze, presented by Toyota for Alexi Lalas, Taylor Twelman and Monica Gonzalez. I'm Adrian Heavey. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time.